The second one I want to talk on is focusing on strengths. And this is not being Pollyanna about the situation, but words shape worlds. How what you say, how you think about change impacts your world and it impacts it for others. So how you show up, you, how are you thinking about these challenges? I, I coach some executives and I have an executive that they actually love when there's uncertainty in the market. They look to double down. They view it as an opportunity. They say, you know what? This is great. This is a chance for me to do something different that no one else is. Others say, buy, hold, I say buy. You know, they lean into it and they grow and they take, they use this as an advantage. You know, when you look at business, it really comes down to execution and innovation. I think we can break it into those two. At least let me use that framework, execution and innovation. Execution is about getting work done, strategic thinking, strategic plans, being able to gain efficiency in the business, uh, being able to deliver, okay? That's execution. And that's based on certainty, based knowing what the market's going to be, knowing where things are headed. It's all about the certainty. But then there's innovation, and to grow our business, and again, 45% of executive CEOs are saying, I've got to change. Innovation is about uncertainty. It's about, I don't know if this will work or not. I don't know if this will take off or not. And so when we think about the opportunities of, and we frame the uncertainty as a growing opportunity for our organization, how might that change my mental approach? I would say your mindset is causative. What you think about the opportunity impacts how you behave. How you behave impacts how you build relationships, impacts your organizational results. Mindset is causative, how you think about it. So the strengths thinking mindset is that of a growth mindset, that I believe there's opportunity to be had. I believe that there's a structure around this. I believe we need to innovate and to grow. Uh, and, and also underpinning this strengths thinking is a reward and recognition process, a way of bringing out the best in individuals. Instead of looking at performance managing of people and saying, how do we correct what's wrong? How do we actually reward and incentivize what's right? How do I know, what are the behaviors, in, and I want you to think about this one, this is a money maker for you. How, what are the behaviors that contribute to or, uh, profit in your business? What behaviors drive profit? They need to be clear, they need to be measured, and you need to incent and reward those. You need to be looking for them. If you say, well, I give people a paycheck, that's the reward. That's actually a hygiene factor. That's actually expected, okay? They're coming to work with that contract. This is about how do you pull out the best. You can't bring out the best in people if you don't know what does it. And you need to know, and it's okay if right now you go, I'm not certain what actually are the behaviors that drive profitability in my business but you need to find them. You need to identify them, and then you need to be looking for when they're done right and rewarding and incentivizing people. This is that strengths mindset. It's looking at change as a positive, flipping it upside down and thinking deficit-oriented. I look at it and say, how do I actually do this and see it as a bringing out the best? Great leaders look at their organizations and they understand the strengths of the organization and their team, and they start to prepare for the future so they can leverage their strengths. Peter Drucker said, the ageless essence of leadership is to create alignment of strengths in ways that make a system's weaknesses irrelevant. Uh, Edward Deming, uh, the guru in uh, you know, lean and uh, continuous improvement, said, a good person in a bad system, the system wins every time. You've got to look at how you design and how you structure organizations from a strengths perspective. So what are you doing to take on a view uncertainty as opportunity? How can you convey that to your team? How can you build on reward and recognition in your organization for profitable behaviors? Don't hear me. Don't go out and tell everyone that you see, hey, thanks for being here. Great job because not everybody is contributing to your business. In fact, five and 10 might be doing the minimum to get by. And if you're telling them all the same thing, you're just now rewarding and incentivizing that, that mediocrity. You need to reward and incentivize what brings out the best in people.